This program is brought to you by Children's Charity Services, a proud sponsor of Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Come and join us, we'll have a really good time with the Hearts and Teddy Bear Show. Bring your parents along for the ride so they can have some fun too. Teddy Bear is being a clown. We would like you to be our guest, so grab some popcorn and let's have some fun. Come and join us, it's a family affair on the Hearts and Teddy Bear Show. There'll be magic, yeah, fun and games, so many things to learn and do. Let's get ready yeah, for a really good time with the Hearts. Teddy Bear Show. There's so many things to learn and do on the Hearts and Teddy Bear Show. There's so many things to learn and do on the Hearts and Teddy Bear, the Hearts and Teddy Bear, Hearts and Teddy Bear Show. Mail call. Mail call. Hearts, you have mail today. It's from Mr. Fireman. He wants to come by and teach us about smoke alarms and fire safety. Hi, Mr. Fireman. We received your letter. I understand you're here to teach us about fire safety. That's right, Hearts. I came by here to teach the kids about fire safety. Mr. Fireman, what is a smoke alarm? Smoke alarms are tools that can tell if there's smoke in the air. They work even if you can't smell smoke. A smoke alarm looks like a small dish on the ceiling of your home. There are several important things to remember. All homes should have smoke alarms, especially near your bedrooms. Your parents should test your smoke alarms every month to make sure they are working. And so you'll know what it sounds like when it goes off and replace the old batteries with brand new ones at least once a year. A smoke alarm makes a very loud beeping noise to warn you that a fire has started. When you hear this loud noise, follow your home escape plan and get out fast. Pick a safe to remember place outside the home to meet your family. Engine 6, Rescue 6, we have a house fire. Mr. Fireman, should all families have an escape plan? Yes, Penelope, that's a great question. All families should have an escape plan. Ask your parents if they have an escape plan. Try to find two ways out from every room in your home. The first way out should be a door. Every way needs to be planned and practiced with grown-ups. Before opening any door in a fire, feel it first. If it is hot, there may be fire on the other side. Try to get out another way. Stay low to the floor when escaping a fire. After you get out, call 911 or the fire department. Stay outside no matter what. Don't go back for anything. Mr. Fireman, what's the best way to prevent a fire in my home? When you are in the kitchen, don't cook alone or without asking an adult first. Never put anything over a lamp, like clothes or a blanket, not even when playing. Don't stand too close to the fireplace or a wood stove, you could get burned. Never touch matches, lighters, or candles. If you see matches or lighters in a room, tell an adult right away. Never stick anything into an electrical socket.
turn off your lights, stereos, TVs, and other electrical equipment when you are finished using them. Remember children, playing with lighters, matches, or candles is very dangerous and could start a fire. It's a really bad idea. I'm gonna have to go now. There's a kitty cat stuck in a tree. Bye now. Do you all know what a fire alarm is? Yes! Do you know what it sounds like? Yes! It sounds like this. <laughs> Have you tested the batteries in your fire alarm at home? Yes! You need to check them every month. Does everybody know what to do if there's an emergency in your home or a fire? Yes! You dial. Nine one one. Nine one one. Nine one one. This is Donrick Williamson, the funny man of Calypso, encouraging all people, especially the children, to read. You see, reading is the key to all learning, and knowledge is power. So read to achieve. Yeah. 